Hello, beautiful Sagittarius. This is going to be your love and life message for the end of February 2024. As always, keep in mind, this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone that watches. Things could be opposite and roles could be reversed as well. If you're new, welcome to Soma Chandra Libra. Please don't let the name fool you. I read exclusively for Libra and Sagittarius on this channel and the link to my website to schedule private one-on-one -on -one readings with me and to check out some of my coaching services and human design analysis. That's all on my website which is down in the description below. So subscribe and hit the bell if you have Sag and Libra in your chart. You came to the right place. If you want to see my readings for all 12 zodiac signs, check out my other channel called Soma Chandra Tarot. I will read for you guys over there as well every other week. All right, let's get into it. So time out. I feel like you guys are doing time out with a person or a situation. I think a relationship was going well. But I feel like at this point, someone needs to see that they're being a little over the top and it needs to be reeled back in a little bit. I also think that someone is struggling to see you for who you really are. I feel like you guys need a person to take the rose colored glasses off about you and let you be the real you. Because messages of love, this is the first deck I pulled out to channel the energy of what's happening in a relationship. True love, this love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. And then go slow, take time to get to know each other because the relationship might be triggering some old childhood issues. That happens a lot. We get into a relationship, it can be a good relationship or a bad relationship, and it's going to trigger stuff about the past. You know, because we're all kind of, a lot of us are sort of wandering around emotionally on autopilot, um, having reactions to things that happened a long time ago, and we're not really aware of it. So I think that might be happening here. Like, there's love here that's cultivating and growing, but you need to go slow. You're maybe revisiting some old childhood wounds, maybe the, the other person is, but then a card of obsession came out. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. I have rejection at the bottom of the deck as well. This rejection is actually for your protection. Hmm. So I pulled out the untold truth of the heart and I said, okay, energetically, just through oracle messages, can you show me Sagittarius and then show me this person? Again, this is general, it could be reversed. But the person in your energy, what came out, the untold truth of their heart is a spiritual connection, deep love, soulmates, unity, also only you, fixated, attached, and hypnotized, and the chase, preparation, relentless pursuit, and victory. So someone feels as though they have a spiritual connection to you. That's what they're calling it. They feel like you're their soulmate. They feel love for you. We do have true love and spiritual here, spiritual connection, but then only you. This person's very focused on you and only you, but they're kind of chasing you. That might be like why go slow and obsession came out. Spirit's trying to say, whoa, this person might be a little too intense. That came out in the tarot. I definitely think you're dealing with a person who has a dramatic side and a very intense side. They may have some Scorpio in their chart. Um, I see quite a bit of Scorpionic energy here. I have quite a bit of Scorpio in my chart and I can be dramatic and intense too. <clears throat> so that might be what's going on with this person. I'm not this intense, but it's like, okay, I think I see maybe what's going on here. But here's where you are right now, Sagittarius, despair, falling apart, sinking and hopeless, and then avoiding, blocking, escaping, pushing away and elusive intangible, dishonest, and tricky. Now, I'm not accusing any of you of being liars, and I don't know that Spirit's doing that either. At the bottom of the deck, we have farewell, there's tension, you're letting go. Wow, and rejection. Okay, goodbye. I feel like this person, someone in this scenario, is just too intense, too obsessed. And this is like freaking you out. Like you're you're falling apart and avoiding them. I, I feel like energetically, you're like, good God, I can't even with this person. It's almost as if you don't know how to get away from them. And I feel like you need them to slow down because they're obsessed or something needs to slow down because something's been too intense. And I think you're ready to call the ball. After I dropped everything out, I went back and asked Spirit for advice. I am going to do an extended reading because I think that there might be some hope here. 
but I wanted to give the deeper extra advice like here in the general reading on YouTube. I didn't want anybody ha to have to buy the extended to get the deeper advice from spirit. So I was like, spirit, what do you, what can you say to Sagittarius right now? Armadillo and chameleon spirit. Armadillo spirit is set healthy boundaries. You have to draw boundaries between yourself and this person. You have to make it very clear with them what you will do and what you won't do. You also have to honor their boundaries as well. Boundaries need to be set up and honored. And also chameleon came out, act as if. At the bottom of the deck is brown spirit, take a, a brown bear spirit, take a time out. And temperance is here. This is mostly what you guys want to do when things get tense. This is how Sagittarius deals with that. And it's not a bad way to deal with tension and stress and drama and even pain. It's like, all right, time out. Let's just take a breath. I'm connected to my emotions and I am grounded in reality. See how the angel of temperance has one foot in the water and one foot on the ground? I'm going to alchemize my feelings and my passion and I'm going to be patient and calm and I'm going to determine the purpose of what I am doing before I take action. That is what Sagittarius is here to do. And that's what you guys teach us. That's why temperance is your card. And I feel like that's what you're trying to do here. It's like, all right, I'm going to take a time out. I think you want to take spirits advice, which is everybody needs a time out. I need boundaries. And also spirits saying, don't be, don't overreact. If this person's getting all wound up, you need to just be calm. You don't need to match their intensity. Conversely, Sag, if you're the one that's getting all wound up, and this person is saying no and being calm and they're acting like they don't care, that's a warning that they might not really care. So <clears throat> someone needs to dial back the intensity and not react to what someone else is doing. Someone needs to be less reactionary. I wanted just a little bit more advice for you from the Moonology deck. New Moon in Gemini, communication is key, yes. <laughs> Gemini are are our very communicative brothers and sisters. They are ruled by Mercury, so they help you with communication. Communication is key. That's the most important thing, is what are the two of you communicating verbally and through action to each other? Pay attention to that. Also, adjustments are required. Confidence is key to your success. That was hiding under here. And emotions are running high. This was underneath emotions are running high. I didn't know it was here, but new moon in leo someone needs to be confident someone needs to communicate there are some adjustments things need to be changed emotions are running high way too high i think i feel like spirit is saying if you have boundaries and you're non-reactionary and you're confident and you communicate very clearly and you make it clear that some things need to be adjusted in order for you to feel comfortable to move forward there we could salvage this maybe but emotions are running very high i feel like with uh leo coming out the new moon in leo and leo here there could be a leo involved there could also be a scorpio involved capricorn eye of pisces aries gemini fixed signs so I feel like something could be salvageable here if everybody could just calm down and communicate directly and clearly. I also just heard emotions are not facts. Oh, that's very true. Emotions are not facts. They're just feelings. Expect powerful change. So I feel like something really, really needs to change here. Overall energy of the person around you or of the reading is the tower. The way someone is feeling is the nine of swords. They're seeing you as the hangman. This person's seeing you from a different point of view all of a sudden. What you need to know or your advice is the moon of Pisces or Cancer. And the final outcome is strength. So there could be a Leo involved, a Pisces involved, Scorpio. I have Aries here. Okay. So, and then you're at the bottom of the deck with the Wheel of Fortune. But also, to, okay, something good could come in, make you very happy, or someone will be very emotional, but... There's something that's a bit overwhelming. Okay, so with the tower, that's everything like being blown to shit. <laughs> Clarifying this though is the two of cups, the seven of swords and the 10 of swords. This looks like a sticky conversation that someone has to have. A conversation's gonna take place about something that hurts. 
you or this person may feel very insecure to have this conversation and something needs to be navigated very, very carefully with the Seven of Swords. I feel like in this instance, the Seven of Swords is a, about feeling the need to be strategic and get out of a situation very carefully. But a conversation needs to be had. I also often feel like the Two of Cups is just about us looking in the mirror at ourselves and getting really real with ourselves emotionally and getting really real with someone else when we talk to them. This is a painful conversation. Um, this person may also be thinking about, I mean, I have the Ten of Swords and death here. This person may be thinking about ending a cycle that they're in so that they can be free and move forward into a new cycle in their life. Or you may be feeling that way as well. You have to be careful. It's going to hurt and it might even hurt other people. So maybe they're trying to get away from someone or something so that they can be free and be with you. Or this might be a conversation about a breakup. I suspect there's a breakup happening here of some kind. Or this person may be shocked and hurt. They might not want to admit that to you either. They're maybe keeping some things to themselves. They're being strategic. But the way someone's feeling is the Nine of Swords. Clarifying this is the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and Death. Okay, wow. I definitely see someone here imagining maybe worst case scenarios, very, very worried about endings and transformation, very worried that someone's going to walk away and end it all. They could be a Scorpio with death and the tower here and the Ten of Swords. Again, the reason I mentioned Scorpio is because there's a lot of Scorpio on the table and also Scorpio indicates like death, transformation, rebirth. That's intense. It can be painful and it's definitely dramatic. You know, these are very dramatic cards, this pain and this anxiety and someone's trapped in their own mind. There's something they're struggling to see or think about. Eight of Swords and Nine of Swords is someone who's really struggling to be solution focused. They're all trapped in their head. They're overthinking it. And there's a lot of anxiety about walking away and ending something. You might be dealing with a person who is terrified of being left. Or they have to allow for an ending of something so that they can have a new beginning. You might be feeling that way. They might be feeling that way. And it's just scary and even painful. But what's interesting is you're being seen as the hangman. So often this is where a person sees you from a different point of view. They're going to see you in a way that they've never seen you before. It's also possible they look at you and they see the hangman. Uh, some of you maybe have like a Pisces rising. You may have a Mars in Pisces. I'm hearing that. Like the way you fight through things is like a Piscean. Pisces is a lover and not a fighter. <laughs> they fight to protect a dream and they also fight for their own freedom too. They'll stand up for the innocent. They'll champion the innocent as well. Stand up for the right to express themselves emotionally. They also might see you just like putting everything on pause, like with temperance and the hanging man, that's in action and just a need to take that time out and pause. But clarifying this is temperance. There you are, the queen of wands and the page of wands. I'm like, that's okay, Sagittarius. First of all, I he I'm hearing something really, really strongly. This is the strongest message I'm hearing off of this, Sag is that they're suddenly realizing who you actually are as a person. I think that maybe this person thought that they could catch you if they chased you. I think that they really thought that this might be true love, but they're realizing like the queen of wands very much needs and wants a lot of freedom. She will fall in love. She will commit. She will become a wife and a mother. You know, she can do all of those things, but not at the expense of her own unique individual self. The Queen of Wands as an archetype will never really, that's a person that will never completely lose themselves in a relationship. Page of Wands is like, squirrel, that's a person not at all ready to commit and looking for fun and looking for excitement, looking for spiritual inspiration as well, and looking for peace and calm, giving a lot the cold shoulder. 
this person might really be seeing that like you're not the queen of cups you're not into being all lovey-dovey you're not obsessed with them the way they are with you maybe because there was obsession and healing that needs to take place and that's overwhelming you may very much inspire this person to be independent and individual you won't be tied down easily you're probably very inspiring to this person because the queen of wands is a very magnetic and charming person best friend you'll ever have highly creative good luck getting her to commit like she will commit for the right person and i feel like this person might be seeing that like you really want your freedom they also might be seeing you as an inspiration to them if they can allow themselves to just work through endings and allow for new beginnings in their life. But I think that there's something that they're missing. You might have a really interesting come to Jesus conversation with this person this week, Sag. But there's something that they're struggling to see and admit and accept. A sacrifice may need, some of you need to make a sacrifice in order to move forward and claim freedom. Because some of you, this is all you. Like you could move forward into a new life and be really happy, but you've got to accept something. What you have to accept is that it will blow everything apart and it will most likely hurt. But that is a temporary state of being. Like someone may need to accept that an ending they a lot of people come to me and they're like i want to get a divorce but i just don't want it to hurt sorry not sorry like divorce hurts like this is divorce this is moving this is relocating this is accepting powerful transformation this is death this is birth it's messy it can be painful but it is a temporary state of being what death and the tower teach us what scorpio teaches us is to all things there is a season there will be an ending but with that ending can come a new beginning always that is the way of things on planet earth and someone does need to accept that like you may need to accept that this other person may need to accept that um, I also, again, am really picking up that someone, based on the oracle messages, is that someone is struggling to see you for who you really are. And I think that you're trying to set boundaries with them and claim some of your freedom, and they're just, they're afraid of being hurt and left, is what I'm hearing. Because what you need to know where your advice is the moon. This person struggles to see things for what they really are. When the moon comes out, there could be illusion at play and delusion at play. With the moon, there's also a lot of untapped hidden potential, but things are not as they seem. Emotions need to be honored. Mood needs to be honored. And a lack of clarity needs, like the moon is not the ace of swords and the sun. The moon is some confusion and heavy emotion. But underneath this is the five of swords, the three of pentacles and the nine of swords. Okay. I think this person is trying to get it, but they're still pretty easily triggered here. This is a person who I think they're willing to fight for you. I think they want to keep going. I think that if you have said to them, look, I'm avoiding you and falling apart and I'm overwhelmed and I can't handle this. I think they're trying to see this. You might be really trying to show them that like, look, like this is like, this is too much for me. This is starting to irritate me and piss me off. I want to keep going here, but I really need for you to see how anxious this is all making me like I'm overwhelmed. They may struggle to see that. And you need to know that this person may struggle to see your point of view. I also get the sense that they really want what they want. Mm -hmm. But the final outcome is strength. And I kind of like where this is going, which is, I mean, strength only comes when it's called for, right? We're only strong when we need to be. When, you know, we have to be the HR department in our own life. Look at how the Empress is closing the lion's mouth. Let's tame pride, tame ego, calm down raw emotion, jealousy, anxiety, possessiveness. Like you have to have generosity of spirit and strength of character and quote unquote, do the right thing and handle a difficult situation magnanimously. I think that's what's going to happen here. And someone is also kind of trying to hold back. 
clarifying this is the hangman again and then the moon again with the devil and see i think this is good I think that this person is starting to see that they've been a little fucked up and obsessed. Like this is obsession. This is I am obsessed and I am not at all in touch with reality. And the hangman is, oh my God, I'm really seeing that now. It's also possible that like the devil is just something, it's Capricorn, you know, like something that we can't ignore that we're chained and bound to. This hangman does look kind of stuck in a situation here. He's chained and bound to something. The only way he's going to get down from that uncomfortable position is radical acceptance of his situation and seeing something from a different point of view. And it's going to take a sacrifice to move forward. Someone is starting to see that that is what's happening here. Like I'm stuck and I'm stressed out. And if, if this person's been coming on too strong I think that they're aware of it to a degree and they know that they have no choice but to change in order to move forward with you. Or it's like they realize they're really stuck and if they want to do anything fun with you, they're going to have to work through all this shit. But I think that you're going to have a hard time getting them to see your point of view because the moon is here twice with the devil and this person is struggling to see something. But I feel like you're trying to show them like, look, like I'm avoiding you. I'm struggling to be honest with you. I'm starting to feel like this is all hopeless. Like I love you, but there's this bizarre obsession here and I just feel like you're chasing me. This person does see how much freedom and independence you want, but they struggle to face the fact that they might be somewhat obsessed. And furthermore, they're in their own little world over here. It's interesting. They see themselves as the world, the two of pentacles, the ten of wands, but then the fool. Okay, the world and the fool. This person's ready for a cycle to end and for a new cycle to begin. They might want to move and relocate. It's like, well, what do I do here? They may have put themselves on a two-year plan. Like I'll move in two years because this is often a moving or relocating card or it's like the cycle is ending. What do I do now? I'm overwhelmed. I'm trying to let stuff go. I want to move forward and just leave this all behind and start this great new cycle. I always want to know the action cards like where is the ten of wands and the fool going? They Those came out as my action cards like I really just want to dump it all and start a new cycle. They want to move towards happiness. The nine of cups, the lovers and the knight of swords. That's Gemini energy right there. They may have Gemini in their chart. They may, this person wants to move on to feeling instant gratification, happiness, like they're with their soulmate, they're impulsive, they're ready to move very quickly, they're not going to miss an opportunity. This is a person that is not going to miss an opportunity. They're going to walk right into it. <laughs> that fool is not even looking where he's going. It is a little foolish. It is a little reckless. It's like, what have I got to lose? YOLO. That's Aries. Hold my beer. I've got nothing to lose. I'm just going to go right into it. Like, should I? Shouldn't I? This person does want to like take a risk and move forward in life. But they know they have to go through something painful. You may be in very inspiring to this person. Now, if this person wants to be in a relationship with you, you need to know that they are going to go right into it, Sag. And they might like, they're not realizing that they're obsessed. They're not realizing that they're moving too quickly. I think, I mean, with rejection and farewell, I think that you're about to reject them and tell them, no, you are. Mm -mm. No. And I also think that you're trying to tell a person that they're obsessed and you're struggling to get them to realize that because this person doesn't look like they feel guilty about too much. They're just moving into their happy new cycle. I'm assuming they want to move in, move towards you, but you are distracted. This queen of wands is looking away from all of this. Okay. For my feminines, I'm picking up on my femme sages here. Like she's sort of looking off in the distance away from all of this, the seven of swords to the two of wands. Now you might be watching a person play duck and weave and you're like, wow, I'm just going to sit here and watch you do whatever you're doing. And I'm going to keep, I'm going to, you know, bite my tongue here. But I also feel like it, the seven of swords being your emotions is you're the one that feels like you've got to get out of a situation. This seven of swords, I've been pulling the seven of swords for Sagittarius for uh, over almost six months now off and on. 
So I keep picking up on a Sag that finds themselves in Sages that find themselves in situations where they kind of have to play duck and weave and they have to be really careful. This person's terrified of losing you. And I think that you know that and you're trying really hard to be careful in this situation. Your action is the two of wands. You could choose them, but you have more than one path to choose. I wanted to know why your actions was the two of wands, which is holding still and trying to pick a path. Queen of wands is holding still too. When I clarified the two of wands, you're the nine of swords, the nine of swords and the moon and judgment. Okay. Sagittarius, do not ignore that niggling feeling within. You are not feeling good about something here. Don't come into union or alignment with this person if you feel like they're obsessed or they're not respecting your boundaries or they're not listening to you, that you constantly have to give them the cold shoulder. Sagittarians frequently do this when they're around overly dramatic and overly emotional people. Sagittarius is not fond of that. That is not their function. You guys are all about creative dynamic solutions and forward motion. You don't like trauma bonding. You don't like drama. You don't like it heavy. You like to keep things going forward and light. So when you have to deal with this kind of shit, it doesn't thrill you. So I do see that you yourself have to go through something difficult here. You're not going to have all the answers, but you can listen to your deeper emotions. Your emotions are an inner compass. I get you. I hear you saying, I have a bad feeling about this. I have a really bad feeling about this. And now I'm at a crossroads about what I'm going to do. Some of you, this for some of you, this is a projection of your future self into the future. Other, and tarot readers won't tell you that. I will. This isn't always another person. This is could potentially be a projection of your future actions. You could get out of a situation that you're probably stuck in and it's going to be difficult for you, but there's you have no other choice. If you want to get to this ending and this feeling of freedom, you're going to have to go for it. And it could open you up to things that are better for you and you could make rapid progress once you move forward. But you're going to have to explain to some other people that you really need them to let you go. And if that's not happening, again, I can really see that they're strongly potential, like another person that's like got you in a situation that you don't feel comfortable in. I also think that you are dealing with a person that wants a whole lot more out of you than you're willing to give them. It's almost like they want you to be obsessive about them. They want you to be dramatic about all of this. And you're like, I really don't like drama. And I feel it coming on. And now I've got to figure out how to handle it. Yeah, you. there's something that you feel overwhelmed by here. I think you're about to like really call it quits with someone because they won't let it go. So I'm going to do an extended because I feel like this person could be close to seeing that they're being obsessed, to seeing that they need to back off. But in the meantime, Sag, take a time out, be chill, have good boundaries. Powerful change can come if you guys communicate clearly about the adjustments that are required. I also think that you may need to tell a person, I need you to be more confident and not so clingy and freaking out all the time and let the emotions die down because there's heavy, intense emotions here. If you feel like you need the extended to clarify what's going on with this person a little bit more deeply and see if all this pain and drama and intensity can be worked through and what kind of a timestamp or a future you could have with this person, the link to the extended will be at the top of the description below. But that's what's going on right now, Sagittarius. The cycles you're playing out require better boundaries and better communication. So hopefully that helps you for the end of the week. Week. I'm always listening to the universe for you, Sag. Take care. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.